Hi everybody, my name is Mikey Dubson. I've been getting a lot of comments asking me to explain how I add mods to Roguelands. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that by giving you basically a breakdown of how to do Python SDK modding in general. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Borderlands 2, you go to Properties, go to Installed Files, and verify the integrity of your game files. This will scan your game and set it back to its default settings. We're going to wait for it to hit to 100% and then we will continue. While this is loading, if you have not watched the Pyrex BLJ video on how to install Roguelands, I'm going to link you that as the first link in the description now. Go complete that, and then we will pick up where he left off so that we can just start adding cool stuff to uh, Roguelands right away. All right, so if you have followed the instructions properly on the Pyrex BLJ guide, whether you're on Epic Games or Steam, all you have to do now is go into your local files. You have a new binaries folder to play around with, a new Win32, and look, you go into your mods, these should be the mods you see. You should see a pie cache, map loader, mod menu, roguelands game mode, user feedback, and one text file. Now when we launch Borderlands 2, you will see that we have another setting from the main menu, which is mods. So map loader and user feedback are on, I want to turn roguelands on. And I can go fight the baddies, right? But we want to add more mods to this. First thing you're going to want to do is quit out of Borderlands 2. Next, go to the link in the description that is the Python SDK mod database. If you follow the Pyrex BLJ guide, you will have linked a couple different links from this website. So this website is a one-stop shop Borderlands 2 mod library for you to just plug and play very easily with all of your mods. The first one that I recommend and how I recommend searching this website is by hitting control F on windows and searching the entire page for roguelands. Okay. So I type in roguelands. I get three results. The first one is roguelands by Juso 1.3. This is not the one we want. We want the roguelands game mode. Okay. So there's our first mod that we have, we have found on this page. The first mod I recommend installing is the roguelands mini game mode. Roguelands Mini is a smaller version of Roguelands. It's on 1.1.0 as of right now, which should be the final patch, but we'll see. So you can see the patch number here. You can see the description. It's Roguelands, but shorter. Okay, very, very cool. Something to note right away is the requirements. Okay, make sure you have these requirements. We already have map loader and user feedback installed from the Pyrex BLJ video. We're good on our requirements. We click our download link. And for Pyrex BLJ, I've found it's easiest to just click this view raw button. And then you can save the file. Roguelands game mode, open up the file, and then you go to your Steam. Borderlands 2, right click, manage, browse local files. And we want to get into our mods folder. So we start with binaries, Win32, mods. Very simply. Roguelands mini game mode, in. That simple. But we'll quickly launch Borderlands 2. But now we're going to check our mods folder and we should see Roguelands Mini version 1.1.0. So if I enable this and I go to select new character and I go to Gunzerker, let's say, now I have Roguelands Mini installed. You can tell it's Roguelands Mini right away by two different reasons. One, in the top right corner under the map, you see starting round 0 slash 9. The original Roguelands, I believe, is 14 rounds per, per tier. This one is only nine. The second is I start with five skill points. It's blinking in the bottom left corner in Roguelands Mini. We have this installed. Let's go back to the mod database and go see what we can find. Okay, so for the mods that I use, which are gear randomizer, cross skill randomizer, I will be posting links to those specific mods in the description. You've, you Now you know how to go install more mods for yourself. And we can look for things like Borderlands 2 Eternal. Glory kills and dashing. So adds dash and glory kills mechanic from Doom Eternal to Borderlands 2. Press dash plus indirection while in air to dash. Glory kill meleeing injured enemies causes them to instantly die and drop additional loot. Killable enemies are marked by a shock plus fire particle around their feet. I mean, it has a it has a requirement which is carver routines. So we could install this. We could, it could be kind of cool. You know what? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get the requirement first. We pick up car routines. And let's, I still have my mods folder open from before and car routines is going to go boom right in. We want to make sure we get the requirement first and we can go back and we can get the download link for Borderlands 2 Eternal. So it turns it into 
Borderlands uh, Doom, basically. Now we have Borderlands 2 Eternal. Have our mods folder. There we go. Now, let's get an enemy below 15% HP and see how that works. When we get an enemy below 15% HP, they should have a, a fire below their feet right there, but it's not doing any damage. And then I get a glory kill. 400,000 damage right there. Oh, we don't quite get the glory kill there, but maybe if I get him a little bit lower here. Yep, his feet are glowing. Boom, I get back up. That's pretty cool. But you can mix and match mods as much as you want using this Borderlands 2 Python SDK mod database. If you want to go back to the, the home screen of it, you can click this view mods button and you can just, you can plug and play. Plug and play with any mods you want. The ones I use are cross skill randomizer. Randomize all the skills, which is super cool. The stuff like Death Trap Memory Program adds a keybind that allows Death Trap to memorize your shield. Kind of cool. So that way, when I give Death Trap a copy of my Love Thumper, he can memorize it, and then I can swap back out to a uh, a B or an antagonist in a B, something like that. A really cool, a really cool idea for Gauge. Drop Chance Multiplier. A lot of this stuff can and sometimes will not apply to Roguelands. There's an FPS slider if you're an FPS Andy. I for recording purposes do not but here's gear randomizers the one that gets a lot of views a lot of people like the gear randomizer here it is keep anarchy for gauge uh, there's a whole mo bunch of mods on this page that you can look through and see if you want to add to your game so one thing you just got to make sure is you you look at the requirements let's find one that has a requirement how about no cap any requirements yes the no cap by stelmo says extends team limits and functionality for five plus player lobbies Allows up to eight player, 32 players by eight teams, 32 players by default. With team limits and functionality, that's cool. You can play in teams um, using this mod, not for Roguelands, but for Borderlands 2 in general, which is a really cool mod. So that is how you install mods in Roguelands. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys have fun getting out there and and, ta and tackling the rogue lands and destroying all the minions of handsome jack in the most wacky and, and zany ways possible i'll see y'all next time bye